Welcome to Gran Canaria. You find us at Circuit de Maspalomas, first built in 1992 to host Race of Champions, and it did so for 12 seasons. We thought, what would happen if you put 10 journalists and content creators from around the world into race prepared MX-5s on a circuit they're unfamiliar with, and then analyze the video and data using HD light to get them up to speed. So let's see what happens. For you, you've set some fantastic times today. You know, you, you've really taken on board everything that we've looked at. Um, I mean, do you think that would have been possible without the video and data? Do you think you'd be in this position otherwise? You know, I had two different instructors today. One guy was super mellow, super chill. Uh, another guy was just yelling at me the whole time I was in the car. But ultimately, I think uh, with a little bit of that, but also seeing the data and with the video and being able to compare, you know, exactly where I was, um, and, and you can see exactly you know how far to the track right you were yep. just before in a braking zone you can see you know there, one of the braking zones that you pointed out was I was braking when I had seen the cone for the braking zone rather than directly at the cone and that was just enough to put the slower driver I was pretty much beating everywhere else ahead of me so yeah that was, that was a huge help that's not something that you know somebody sitting next to you can visually point out I mean that is totally data driven how have you found using HD light and the video and data to learn to go faster. Yeah, especially when you are in the new circuit, it's very important to learn it as fast as possible. Within your event, we are quite spoiled because we have a lot of track time, not usual. Usually on the race day, on the race weekend, we have a few less practice, so you have to make up as much as possible from the time on track. So having a setup like yours is really helpful because from one session to another, you improve improve a lot and you can accelerate your learning from the track. So especially in a new track like this, it helps a lot. If you found video and data, we don't use video and data much in rallying. In racing, it's, it's quite common. How useful has it been for you to, to get up to speed? Well, it's super useful because I was trying to catch the best uh, lap I can do uh, by searching my um, by sections mm -hmm. and checking which uh, section I made the best on which lap and everything. And well, I think I more or less made it to think how we make how we have to make it on the on the track. MX5 race cars, first time at the circuit. We've used HD light, had a look at the video and data. How has that helped you to go faster? It's it's crazy how much it actually records. Of course, the video as well, but 
all the different kind of braking zones and everything like that and where you are on the track it's uh, yeah it's a pretty pretty awesome bit of kit. You've set some impressive lap times around here now <laughs> um, do you think you'd have got there without the video and data? Maybe after like a good few days of driving the track almost blind without having that kind of tool. But I mean, with this, I went from a 131 to a 124 in half a day. So um, seven seconds. Yeah, which yes, you might have done over a much larger amount of time. But with something like that, like I said, you can just come out the car, plug it straight into the laptop, review it session to session, see where maybe you are faster on a different lap. Um, and yet yeah, compile it all together and just use that data to yeah, get the maximum out of it.